Hello and welcome to the Fragrant Divine. In this video, I wanted to share a few niche perfume retailers in the US where you can purchase samples from. The first retailer that we're going to be looking at is Twisted Lily. So Twisted Lily actually almost closed and um, I don't know if they were specifically affected by the pandemic but they ended up closing their physical store and then they started to get rid of their stock online. But thankfully someone bought the name I believe, put new stock in and just kept the online store going. So Twisted Lily samples uh, look like this. One of the reasons that I like them is that um, you can, there's a higher chance for you to get a branded uh, like official sample. Like for example, this one this is a Gutal sample. The even though the the product um, photo was showing a generic um, carded sample image, I still got the official one, and that's really really nice because some of these have very nice artwork, and some of them sometimes contain uh, you know the notes and additional information on um, on the carded sample itself. So prices for these samples start at $4 and it goes up from there. And they're, according to the website, it's between 1 to 2 ml. But I would say expect some, you know, something more around 1 ml because that's pretty standard. Um, when I got this one, it's about um, around midway, um, midway filled um, or maybe a little more, but, you know, which is a pretty decent amount. The fulfillment and delivery is pretty standard also. It's about uh, four to seven days. If you can take advantage of geography, if the dispatch center is closer to you, then the delivery tends to be shorter. And Twisted Lily, as far as I know, is located on the East Coast in New Jersey. The delivery fee when you're buying samples only for Twisted Lily is $8.50. Another thing with Twisted Lily is that when you purchase a sample, they give you a discount so you get part of your money back right and not a lot of retailers do that but they do so um, your purchase your samples purchase could either come with something like this you know with uh, with uh, test strips uh, these are test strips which is you know a nice touch and the the discount is actually behind this card uh, gray card here it's it's designed like a like a credit card and there's a code in there um or you could receive something like this which explicitly you know displays how much you're uh, how much discount you're getting from your samples and and the code uh this this single sample actually also came with a with its own personal box which i think is unnecessary still it's a it's a nice touch and again, the reason why they're one of my favorites is that you can possibly get a branded sample. I don't know if that's because I started buying when they were relatively new, or I don't know how all that works. And also, they they tend to carry um, brands uh, that are a little more popular and a little more well known, and they just carry um, just enough amount of less popular brands. So. That's a pretty good balance because some retails are the, the opposite. They carry more indie and unknown brands. And, and depending on what you're looking for, like one retailer could be sort of like better for you than, than another. And that applies for all of the retailers that I'm going to feature, feature in this video. Next up, we have ZGO Perfumery. ZGO stands for Zen Garden Oasis. So their samples look like this. Uh, the prices start at $4, and like Twisted Lily, they start going up from there. This spray sample contains about 1 ml, and their website says it's approximately 15 sprays. Fulfillment is also pretty standard. It's about 3 to 7 days, and because they're located in San Francisco, California, and I live in Las Vegas, it's very geographically advantageous for me. So sometimes the delivery for me is really, really quick. Um, I, 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 I said three to seven days because sometimes I get it at, you know, three days, which is pretty quick. Downside though is that if you buy samples only, uh, the delivery fee is about $9. And 
as far as like delivery fees, I'm talking about when you don't reach the, the free delivery thresholds. All of these retailers have those, um, but if you don't reach uh, that threshold, it's about $9 flat rate. Despite the delivery fee, ZGO is another retailer where you can get some money back. They explicitly actually state that they have a sampling program and you get about three times the price of one sample back. In my case, I don't know if it if it really varies. In my case, it basically ended up being 15% off. Um, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to guess that it, that's pretty standard. So when you buy um, samples, you will get something like this. Uh, a, a thank you card that contains your code. I just blotted it out a little if in case it can be traced back to me because I want to be mysterious and anonymous. So they send you a thank you card like that. Um, uh, and the packages come in uh, an envelope like this, uh, which is kind of nice and fancy actually. And these small spray uh, bottles are individually wrapped in its own bag. Um, the reason for that is actually when, when these get shipped, they, they leak a little bit into the bag, um, but they actually don't leak in the, from the bottle at all, like, like when you um, tilt it to the side. So I don't know what causes that. I don't know if it's just sort of like um, pressure in the bottle, um, pushing some of the liquid out, or maybe it's, it's like the delivery. Uh, the delivery truck could be um, a bit warm and you know the liquid kind of expands like I don't know how all that works but a little bit of the liquid kind of like gets into the bag but I wouldn't worry about it because I've ordered a lot of these and even though um, basically even though when the bag is still kind of wet and you take out the sample and the sample has a little bit of wetness in it um, it doesn't it doesn't seem like you're losing a lot of ML, so you don't really have to worry about that, in my opinion. Um, just like uh, Twisted, Twisted Lily, uh, ZGO carries a lot of very popular brands, and um, and they balance it with some indie indie brands as well. So they're like the the West Coast counterpart of Twisted Lily. And again, like they're, I like them because they're um, because of those reasons, the 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 discount that you get, some money back, and geographically, uh, the delivery is quite fast. The third retailer is Ministry of Scent. Their samples look like this, and if you buy multiple ones, they come with um, these tiny uh, Ziploc type bags. According to their website, it's um, about a 1.5 ml filled. Unlike the first two retailers, these sprays are not uh, screw tops. So they're not as reusable as um, in the, uh, the ones from the first two retailers. Editing commentary here, the first retailer, Twisted Lily, their samples are actually not screw tops, like I mentioned. But the advantage of that is that is um, these tend to evaporate much, much slower compared to anything that has a screw top. Because no matter, uh, from what I can tell, no matter what you do, as long as it's a screw top and you can easily screw um, the bottle open, it will evaporate quicker to a certain degree than you know something like this. So the prices for these are, for the most part, a flat $5. But on and off, I see ones that are at $10. And I thought those are at $10 because the, the concentration is higher. But it also seems pretty random. So it's, it's, it's kind of inconsistent what becomes $10. But for everything else, like no matter if they're cheaper or more expensive, they're actually at a $5 flat. Um, fulfillment is again pretty standard it's three to seven business days and again think of like geography like um, uh, Min Ministry of Scent is another retailer that's um, located in the west coast in San Francisco California so again they're much closer to me so delivery is pretty pretty quick um, another pro with Ministry of Scent is that if you buy samples 
the delivery fee for these are flat five dollars um which is kind of nice it, it's almost like the same price of, of one sample and and with that you can also redeem those bags so they also have a, a discount program that um if you buy samples from them you get uh you get five dollars off from your next purchase and five dollars off from the shipping if you buy samples only so you know again like most um like most retailers there's a free threshold um for these right so if you don't reach the free one and you pay for the shipping you get that ten dollars off as well um i don't have I don't have it, but when when you purchase something, there's a you get a small card that is, has a handwritten note in it, and your discount is indicated in the note. One of the things about Ministry of Scent is that they carry a lot more indie and smaller brands. So, which again, depending on what you're looking for, which could be an advantage or a disadvantage, right? Also, as a side note, if you didn't know, it's not that there used to be Tiger Lily. So they, their business was split into two. There used to be like the retail arm, which was Tiger Lily, and then the events arm, which is Ministry of Scent. And then at one point, they just decided to combine that because to me, it actually makes more sense to combine it. So now they're just Ministry of Scent. Our fourth retailer is Lucky Scent. I think everyone by now has heard of Lucky Scent and their samples are uh, famously come in the in the dabber in these dabber vials which are technically very much harder um, to use than um, a spray sample because you don't it, it's not the same experience but at the very least you you know you you get what the scent profile is lucky scent prices starts at three dollars and then it goes up from there these vials are filled up, up to 0 0.7 ml, um, but the whole vial, I think, can accommodate 1 ml, but it's just filled up to 0 0.7 ml. Very, very rarely, uh, they will send you like an official uh, sample from the brand. Like, for example, I don't have it with me, but um, when I've ordered, uh, when I've ordered eccentric molecule samples, um, they actually sent me the official branded samples. If you order multiple samples, you'll get them in these uh, bubble wrap uh, little envelopes. Their fulfillment is also pretty standard. It's about three to seven days. If you order samples only and you, and you don't reach the, uh, the free uh, shipping threshold, the delivery is actually pretty cheap. It's about $4. And geographically, Lucky Scent has both a West Coast and an East Coast location, but I don't know if they dispatch from both locations. Unfortunately, with Lucky Scent, uh, as far as I know, they don't actually have a discount program. So if you buy a sample, you don't get any money back from that. But the sort of the, the other side of that is that um, among all of these these dabber samples are are the ones in the on the cheaper side so money wise you can save a lot more but you know the experience of sampling is is not that great and you don't get money back sometimes and again i'm not familiar with how frequent lucky scent does this but i know they do they they rarely do sales but they always do a yearly sale on samples every summer but I don't know if that's still accurate now, but I know they do that. Another good thing with Lucky Scent is that they're, they're that retailer that carries so many brands that a lot of other retailers don't. It, they're like the hoarder in, in terms of like inventory. So you get the biggest uh, variety of selections to sample from. These Deborah vials, in my experience, last for a very, very long time. Like I still... I still have some of these that are years old and they're still like at least halfway full. I've noticed that recently, I don't know if Lucky Scent changed their supplier or something, but now their dabbers, their dabbers are, um, they tend to break off at the, at this kind of like, um, handle point 
they started breaking off here. And if you're not careful, this whole thing could break off. And now it leaves a hole. Uh, there's a hole in, in the cover. So now your, your, your sample is you know, prone to leaking and much more prone to quickly evaporate. So that's only, that's actually weird because that's only something that I, I experienced recently. Um, in the previous years, their, their sample virus are, are pretty sturdy. So I don't know what happened there. The last retailer that I have for you is Indigo Perfumery. And their samples look like this. So it's another spray sample. And sometimes your, um, your, your group of samples would come in a box like this. Or just um, group like this in a, in a little bag. So prices with Indigo Perfumery also start at $3, but you get it in spray form, so that's good. But it does go up from there, uh, again, depending on the, the original price of the bottle. Their spray bottles are bigger, but they're filled up to 1 ml, according to, the, uh, to, the, to their website. Um, again, fulfillment is pretty standard, uh, 4 to 7 days. Again, take note of, of geography. They're located in the East Coast. Uh, I believe they're in Cleveland, Ohio, or at least Ohio. And their shipping starts around $5, but it goes up from there depending on, I think, how far it is still. Um, and, and maybe the volume, I, I didn't completely test like the variations. The thing with Indigo Perfumery is that they actually have uh, multiple sam sampling programs, which I didn't know up until I, I did this research. First is that you can buy these individual samples and just buy them as is. The second one is that you can buy uh, a set of five of these and get get a ten dollar coupon so I, I believe it's like eighteen dollars and then you get a ten dollar coupon so you know it's always good to have uh you know some money back five samples for eighteen dollars in spray sample is it, usually pretty good right i don't know um how that affects the pricing if it that's flat like depending on the price of a singular um a singular um sample the third, the third sampling program that they have is that they actually have a subscription program. So weirdly enough, this subscription program can come in either one month or six months. So it, it, it's slightly weird, but the thing with this subscription is that they give you three samples every month and they're all selected by the company. So they, you know, the store itself, like Indigo, it, um, itself chooses the scents and they're like um, uh, they're different like like one is that there's a um, one that's unlabeled and then one that's um, sort of like their current favorite in the month and then the other one I forgot what the other one is but I think it's the one that they're um, kind of like featuring the most um, so you know you can do that for six months and then uh, six months or one month and then you get and this is the unclear part. So on the website, one, one page in the website says it's 15% off. The other part says 20% off. So I don't know which one is more accurate. So you can verify it with the company. They have a pretty good balance of popular and indie brands. So it's not like Ministry of Scent where it's a lot more indie brands or not like um, Twisted Lily where it's a lot more popular brands. But with Indigo, it's a pretty good balance. It's almost like a 50-50. One downside is that I find that these um, bottles that they use, which is a screw top, um, for some reason, they're, they evaporate much, much quicker than other um, spray samples that I have. I don't know if it's because it's uh, a bigger sample with a smaller amount put in them because I think I think this can accommodate um, up to 5 ml um, so I don't know if that's it if, if the 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 physics inside the bottle kind of like accelerates the evaporation um, but yeah I mean compared to the other ones that are similar form like um, with uh, like with ZGO 
um, yeah, they, they just evaporate much uh, faster. Like some of my samples are just completely gone or they're just completely the oil, the oil from the fragrance themselves and they're just lining the bottom. That doesn't really fit how I sample fragrances because sometimes it, it takes me a while and I revisit, revisit my samples over and over, you know, like most people do. But sometimes there are people who tend to use up their entire sample and, and that is good. It's, you know, if you do that, then there's no problem. I'm not in, uh, discouraging anyone from, you know, going to Indigo. I highly, highly re recommend everyone, especially frag heads, to like support your local perfumery. Uh, it actually sucks because here in Vegas, we don't have one. You know, we have you know, the big department stores. And yes, we have Lucky Scent that's four hours away, but we don't have an actual niche perfumery store here, as far as I know, the last time I checked. So, so some final thoughts. So obviously, I did this because I... I, I heavily support sampling and trying before you buy a full bottle. But let's acknowledge let's acknowledge a few things. Like sampling, uh, sampling produces a lot of garbage. So you know, it's it's definitely a catch that when you buy these small sprayers and small vials, you know, they come with plastic, paper, labels, you know, you name it. So there's a lot of garbage, and also. Regardless of the cons of some of these retailers, please support your local perfumery if you have one, or at least the ones closest to you. I hope this has been helpful, and thank you for watching.